Second unit did play great, but Doug kept mentioning they can't take Grant Hill off the court. He has to guard Kobe Bryant. Terrific defense, but yet Kobe get hitting shot after shot after shot. How frustrating and disappointing is it to have that happen to you? It was frustrating. I thought, I thought Jerry did a good job there. Uh, really fourth, defending him and making him take tough shots. And he happened to miss. It's kind of the first time uh, this the series where he missed you know, two or three in a row. Let's say. But then there, I mean, it's a great play. He makes some great plays. And, uh, what could have done you know, one three point. Uh, maybe he's trying to strip the ball from him. I don't know. But I mean, he had a tough shot. And, uh, and he's, he's, showing, he's showing right now. He plays uh, in this past series. He just seems like he's getting better and better every series. And uh, Sean Wine, uh, he's the best player in the game. He did a great job today. He did a great job this whole series. At one point, you were billed as the next Michael Jordan. You are a seven-time All-Star, but all the injuries you've gone through and everything you've had to put up, uh, missing almost five to four years. Is it all worth it? Oh, yeah, it's definitely. I think just going through all that on the first time to experience uh, something special that we had this year. Um, it wasn't about the wins and the losses. It wasn't about the playoffs. Uh, you know, just to be around a bunch of guys that really care for each other and, do things the right way. Um, you know, play hard, everything the coaches asked. You know, it's, it's, it, was, it was a great season for that. And, uh, it's, it's a good reward for, for me personally for, for going through all the tough times. So, uh, like I said, right now I'm disappointed, but I certainly have some perspective. And I'm just thankful for, for this team and this season. And, uh, Hunger and desire still burning inside you? Grant, to take us through that, that play, you're by your bench, and, and it seems like you got Kobe where you want him, and he just spins and hits that shot. Yeah, you talking about the three pointer there? Uh, I think it was a two pointer. Yeah, two pointer. Yeah, um, um, he just you know, he made some great plays. And, you know, I think both me and Channing had our hands in his face. And, you know, he was just locked in and hit the shot. When he came to hit the next one, three pointer there. Kind of pump faked, he gathered himself, reloaded, and uh, you know, had a hand in his face. And, you know, I think I played it better than the one the other night in game five. I mean, he, he gave credit on that. That's, he said basically that's why he airballed because he came in and he had a double, double yeah, pump at the I end. Think, I think tonight I was playing it better. I mean, I was as close as you can get probably with that foul. And, and uh, he hit just an unbelievable shot. You know, Got to give him credit. And uh, you know, he hit on many more shots all series. And uh, you know, he, he ended the series with, with, with a great shot there at the end. You go into a recruiting mode this offseason. You've got free agents, you've got guys that can opt out. Um, what, what can you do to help keep this team together? Well, you know, we recruit one of our own first and foremost. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what, what this team. It's, it's hard to digest as what happened, but uh, you know this is the NBA, and there will be movement. Not maybe on this team, maybe not. But um, you know, obviously, I think what we've done this season, hopefully, is appealing for our own free agents and other free agents, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can you know get confidence from this season, uh, get the right pieces in place, which you know may be the pieces that we have for all I know. Um, but we know that people are going to be coming after some of our guys, and they've had great seasons. And uh, you know, hopefully, we can uh, we can come back and, and repeat, you know, and improve upon this this, this wonderful season. Um, but I think having Nash, I think having Alvin, you know, seeing how guys develop, and you know, Mar is just blossoming. He had a great season. Uh, you know. It's a, it's a good place. Grant, how do you think the Suns team should be remembered? I, don't know. I just think a lot of heart, a lot of hustle, a lot of, a lot of character. You know, those are the things that come to mind when you think of the guys on this team. And, um, it's been a joy to be around. In terms of the heart and fight of the teams that you've um, gotten a chance to be a part of, where does this team rank? Well, this team's right, right, 
at the top, you know, this team, um, you know, of all the teams, I, I, you know, I just, you know, it's, been, it's truly a joy to come in and work every day. And, you know, one of the things that's disappointing about losing now is, you know, everybody kind of scatters and goes, goes, goes their separate ways. And, uh, you know, we, we, we thoroughly sure, enjoy, you know, being in each other's company okay, huh? and uh, spending time with one another and working hard together and growing together. And, uh, and this team, you know, my, my career as a professional, even college, just the camaraderie, the togetherness, uh, what we fell short of, of the ultimate goal. Uh, it was truly a joy, you know, to be, each, be around each other all day. All is, it, is that what hurts the most then, knowing that it was a special group? And it's one or two plays here and there, and then, you know, at the end of the season. Yeah, I mean, you know, bottom line is we lost, and uh, we had opportunities, and we had to tip your hat to the Lakers, but, yeah, I mean, you know, we, uh, you know, we felt as the year went on, as the playoffs went on, we felt we were getting better, and we felt we were getting more and more confident, and, uh, you know, when you have something special, you want to keep it going, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, we can't do that, so, but, uh, you know, it is. You know, it was a great year. You know, we made it to the final three. <laughs> and uh, you know, LA beat us four times. And they did what they had to do, and uh, we came up short. You said early in the season you talked about the team having to set their expectations at a certain level and not wanting to really talk about them publicly, but just kind of keep them to yourselves. Did, did, did you meet those expectations? Did you exceed them this season? I think, you know, <clears throat> Goals. Yeah, if there were any goals, it was just to go out and play hard every night and compete uh, and do things the right way. And uh, I think we did. You know, we never talked about you know, a certain record. We never talked about certain you know, wins, losses, uh, seeding in the playoffs. You know, all we talked about was every night giving it our all, uh, improving every game, and, and going out and doing things the right way. And uh, we did that. So, um, you know. This far, though, you want to, you know, ultimately want to complete it. If we didn't, uh, I think everybody's proud of one another. I think everybody can look in the mirror and say they gave it their all, and uh, you know, we can, I guess, move on and get ready for next year.